from Russia. And uh, did your parents raise you with a certain religion, for example, Catholicism or something? No, uh, uh, atheist. You're an atheist. Yes. Okay. And uh, what if uh, actually the Bible is true? Could be, yeah. Uh, and there is a God. Do you think He will allow you into heaven, even though you are an atheist? <laughs> it's a complicated question. I never thought about it. Mm -hmm. so, so, what do you think is the requirement uh, from the Bible to be allowed into heaven? What does what does a person have to do? I think just human must stay a human. And, uh, stay a human? Yeah. <laughs> how how else can you be? Can you cannot change from right? What What do you mean by that? Mm, I think to uh, to think and do for people that what they do for you. Ah, that's the golden rule. That's in yeah. a lot of religions. That's, that's and that is, of course, a nice saying, but that's not going to save you. But according to the Bible, there's one thing you must do, and that is believe in Jesus Christ. It's literally quoted, uh, wrote, written like this. Um, somebody asked a question, what must I do to be saved? And the answer is, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and I shall be saved. So at the moment that you believe in Jesus Christ, you're saved from going to hell. You're saved from the punishment. But why do you think... Just because you don't believe? Now, if you... If you uh, well... Let me explain, because I wanted to ask you a question. Why do you think uh, you would deserve punishment according to God? Hmm. Why, why is there punishment for... For what? For a person, yeah, for what? That's, that's, that's my question to you. Hmm. You don't know this? Well, according to God, there are certain laws, rules. You cannot steal, you cannot lie, murder, cheat on your wife, stuff like that. Uh, I'm sure you've done something bad in your life, right? Maybe you, you lied yesterday or today. Uh, maybe 10 years ago, but God says yes. nobody's perfect, eh? for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So you as a person and nobody is good enough to go to heaven, but God still wants you to come to heaven. So he has a gift for you and the gift is the eternal life of your soul. Not your body, your body is going to die just like everybody else, but your soul can be saved from the second death, from the lake of fire and from hell, just by believing that Jesus Christ actually is who he is and that he did what he said that he would do and that the bible actually says that he did sounds complicated but you know about jesus christ right who he is yes, he's I the know. son of god he came to earth two thousand years ago and he lived a sinless life so he never broke any of god's laws he never told a lie for example then he was crucified and we, they killed him and he was hanging on the cross and the bible teaches that the sin of the whole world was laid upon him so he actually took your and my punishment and he went to hell and yeah, he was dead. After three days, he rose again from the grave. You, you must have heard this story, right? That's what the yeah, Bible says is the good news of the Bible, that actually God took your punishment and what he wants to give you is the eternal life of your soul. And there's only one requirement, you must believe that he did this for you. If you do not believe that God sacrificed his son for you or that he doesn't have a son, then you will not go to heaven. Otherwise, if you trust actually on what God did for you, you're going to heaven. No matter how you live, eh, you can do your best all your day, but that's not going to save you. So, um, I have a nice Bible verse to support this. It says here in blue, you can have the card. It I says, it. yeah, it says, for by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. So you cannot save yourself. Not, uh, but then it says, it's the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. You can have the card and think about this first, because that's my most important message to you. There is a God, He wants you in heaven. But you cannot earn heaven. You have to trust in his provision, what he did for you. And that's sending his son, Jesus Christ, to die for you in, instead of you. And actually, our punishment is hell. And Jesus took this punishment. And then he rose from the grave. So he's alive. And he wants to give you this eternal life as well. And you can have it today, just by believing that he did this. It's good news, just good news, right? It is. So please think about these things. And uh, nice to meet you, Anton. Yeah, you too. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.